हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज हम देख रहे हैं स्टैंडर्ड फाइव का इन्वायरमेंटल स्टडीज पार्ट टू वन लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री इन्फेक्शन डिसीज एंड हाउ टू प्रिवेंट दे इस लेसन की एक्सरसाइज फर्स्ट व्हाट्स द सॉल्यूशन यू आर वेरी हंगरी बट द फूड हैज बीन लेफ्ट अनकवर्ड आंसर इफ द फूड इज लेफ्ट अनकवर्ड इट विल बी कंटामिनेटेड विथ डर्ट डस्ट एंड फ्लाइज Many microorganism may be present in them. Such food can cause infections. Therefore, such food should not be eaten. If we are hungry, we can eat pig biscuits or fruits like banana, which can be peeled and eaten. If food is boiled hot, we can consume others. Even if we are very hungry, we should not eat an uncovered food. Question two. what use your brain power which method of pre preventing the branding of mosquito will you stagnant or spraying insecticides on the water why in the stagnant water mosquitoes breed mosquitoes spread disease like malaria dengue and elephantiasis therefore stagnant water should not be allowed to remain in our surroundings one can also use in insecticides to destroy mosquitoes but this would also creates insecticide pollution insecticides have the ability to stay in the environment for an extended period and they harm the environments therefore it is better to remove stagnant water than to spray insecticides question 3 answer the following questions usme a what is an infectious disease answer the disease caused by specific microorganism in an infectious disease it is transmitted from one person to another through infections b question what are the medium of spread of disease answer contaminated air water and food are the medium of spread of disease lice flea and mosquito also spread certain diseases in case of skin disease direct contact through touch and contact with contaminated clothes or utensils can also cause diseases question c what happen when there is an epidemic of a disease answer when the epidemic of disease is spread many people from a particular area become ill with the same disease at the same time d question what is vaccination answer vaccination is the process in which the vaccine is given to the person or child through injection or an oral oral dose thus vaccine builds resistance against a certain disease when the disease causing germs enter our body we already have the ability to fight against germ these germs so we would not get that disease due to vaccination the outbreak of an epidemic can be controlled and disease prevention can be done children are given vaccination for many diseases are their resistance power is weak community programs for vaccination are also done to control epidemics question e make a list of the vaccinations that are given to the newborn baby answer bcg or anti tuberculosis vaccine triple vaccine given against whooping cough diarrhea and tetanus polio and polio oral vaccine is given to build resistance against polio question 4 true or false usme a intestinal disease spread through air false some diseases are caused by the injury of the virus answer false question 5 classify the disease given below as disease that spread through food through water and through air inko hame classify karna hai to dekho yahan pe answer through air tuberculosis diarrhea through food typhoid cholera jaundice gastro diarrhea typhoid cholera jaundice gastro diarrhea question 6 give reason a when there is an epidemic of cholera we should drink boiled water answer germs of cholera spread through faces 
of a patient they pass into water or food if such a contaminated water is used for drinking other may get be the infection of cholera therefore during an epidemic of cholera water should be boiled boiling destroys the germs in the water and therefore we are protects protects against the germs in order to keep our health safe we should drink boiled water question b we should not allow puddles of water to stand in our surroundings answer stagnant water of puddles is a breeding ground of mosquitoes germs causing malaria are transmitted through mosquitoes bite from a patient to the other people epidemic of such a disease will spread if mosquito are abundant therefore to control infection of malaria and dengue we should eradicate mosquito hence we should not allow puddles of water to stand in our surroundings थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग वीडियो इयत्ता पांचवी या मराठी सेमी आणि इंग्रजी या माध्यमांच्या सर्व विषयांच्या स्वाध्यायाच्या नवनवीन व्हिडिओसाठी चॅनलला सबस्क्राईब नक्की करा लाईक करा कमेंट करा आणि वर्ग मित्रांना शेअर करा